you might just see 2016 as a failure and I want to talk to you guys who feel that way because and this is not to take away from how you feel because um, I felt like that you know I definitely feel like I failed in quite a bit in 2016 but the truth of the matter is even while failure is defined as lack of success you can turn that failure on its head and see it as a success you can't count it as failure if you learn something from the experience if Hey guys, how are you? Happy New Year. Welcome to 2017. If you don't know me, my name is Berry, Berry Dakara that is, and I'm a lifestyle blogger. You can check out my blog at www.berrydakara.com and you can follow me on social media at Berry Dakara. I'm on Snapchat, Instagram, uh, Twitter and Facebook and I think I'm just trying to get the hang of Pinterest now so look for me on Pinterest as well. Anyways, like I said, Happy New Year. Um, it's a great time to be alive. Um, something that I've noticed in with every new year comes this fresh hope and fresh ideas, this fresh outlook and everybody's excited and they can't wait for the year to start and they have all these hopes and dreams and goals and resolutions, a bunch of things that they're looking forward to with every new year. That's what happens. and. Of course, right now, if you go on social media, everyone is talking about it. Everybody's on YouTube talking about their goals and everything that they're looking forward to. While I am a part of that group, um, I mean, I'll share my goals and resolutions and all that jazz in, in another video. Um, I kind of want to speak to those people who might not be feeling so fresh, might not be feeling so renewed. Um, Towards the tail end of 2016, I started feeling a little bit, what's the word, a little out of sorts. People usually know me as, you know, very happy-go-lucky, very, oh my god, look at me, oh, I'm excited, you know, like even ice cream excites me, <laughs> you know, but I was feeling out of sorts, I was feeling quite negative about life, I was letting my problems be bigger than God in my life, I was letting my problems be bigger than everything else. And um, I know that there are a lot of people who felt that 2016 was a bad year or like some people say the worst year ever. You can go online and look for it. A lot of people really believe that 2016 was the worst year ever. And it might be due to different things. You may have lost a loved one. You may have lost a job. Maybe you didn't. Um, achieve the goals I wanted to achieve. Maybe you still ended up single instead of being married. Maybe you are still looking for um, a child. You know, it's so many things. There's so many things. And you might just see 2016 as a failure. And I want to talk to you guys who feel that way because and this is not to take away from how you feel, because um, I felt like that. You know, I definitely feel like I failed in quite a bit in 2016. But the truth of the matter is, even while failure is defined as lack of success, you can turn that failure on its head and see it as a success. You can't count it as failure if you learn something from the experience if you learn what not to do if you learn what you did wrong you know that okay i tried it this way it didn't work that in itself is a success you know that well when i did it like this or when i used this these steps it didn't work that is a success on its own malcolm forbes said Failure is success if we learn from it. And that's what I'm here to tell you today is that even though you feel like you might have failed in one aspect or another, the fact that you're still alive and you have the chance to do it over again, 
that's a success. The fact that you can take from your experience and sift out the things that did not work, you can take the things that did work and use it on your next try. That's a success. Don't feel like failure is the end. It's really not the end. You have brand new opportunities, brand new, you know, starts. In fact, every day is a single start. You don't have to wait for the beginning of the year. You don't have to wait for the beginning of the week. You can start right now. You can start the next minute from now. You can start in 30 minutes. As long as you are alive, you have a chance to start over to try again and that's what I want to say just because you have failed does not mean that you have ended um, I think it was in I actually put up a post about failure on my blog today no yesterday so you should definitely um, check it out because I was talking about how I failed at um, discipline <laughs> last year and I shared the things that made me Fail, the things that stopped me from achieving what I wanted to achieve and then I also shared some quotes about failure as well so um, let's see I've never seen this movie the haunted mansion but it says there was someone from the movie said you try you fail you try you fail the real failure is when you stop trying that's it that's the real failure is when you stop trying you know I would really um, tell you that you should really check out um, my blog post from yesterday I have some really great quotes that I got from online about failure in fact one of the ones I really like is from Johnny Cash he says you build on failure you use it as a stepping stone close the door on the past you don't try to forget the mistakes but you don't dwell on it don't dwell on your mistakes you don't let it have any of your energy or any of your time or any of your space in order to move forward you need to understand that yes I made mistakes here and there but I will make those mistakes again and move forward so that's what I want to tell you today is you may have failed but you can move forward you can use what you have learned from your failures to move forward and I hope that you use that to um, have a better 2017 than 2016 yeah and uh, yeah so that's all I have to say uh, please check out my blog, like I said, www.berrydakara.com and also follow me on social media. Um, I'm really trying to live my life more intentionally this year in a more positive manner and really just using God's word to guide my life, God's will to guide my life instead of looking at my problems. God is bigger than any problem. God is bigger than any failure. In fact, even the Bible says here that even though my flesh and my heart may fail, God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. So remember that. You might fail, but God is still there. Okay? Remember that. That's in um, Psalm 73, 26. Remember that. And uh, that's really all I have to say. I hope you have a wonderful 2017. You can email me. My email address is berrydakara at gmail.com. And um, you can send me messages, DMs on Instagram, on um, Twitter, or whatever. Like, I always respond well i try my best to respond 2017 is going to be better yeah i will respond faster i promise you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye, bye. that's my dad <laughs>